since it was no longer possible to entrust TSMC to manufacture Kirin chips in 2019, Huawei mobile phones have been in decline. The P50 series and Nova 9 series released last year are all 4G mobile phones, and the use of 5G networks has to rely on third-party manufacturers to launch 5G mobile phone cases. In desperation, Huawei can only launch its self-developed Harmony OS in advance, making Harmony OS a trump card that differentiates Huawei's mobile phones from other mobile phones. Harmony OS, which has invested a lot of money and manpower in development, did not disappoint users. Since the official release of Harmony OS 2 in June last year, more than 300 million mobile phones have been upgraded with the Harmony OS 2 system. Surprisingly, on May 12, Google officially released the Android 13 system. In the official version of Android 13, Google's default file system will use the Aeroff Super file system developed by Huawei, the ARC compiler, to achieve a faster startup speed, allowing the phone to quickly read files while saving space. Since EMUI 9, Aeroff Super file system technology has been popularized in Huawei mobile phones. At the Huawei P30 series conference in April 2019, Huawei officially launched the ARC compiler, which is the Huawei Super File System Aerofs that will be used in the official version of Android 13. According to Huawei Insider, the ARC compiler solves the inefficiency problems of the Android system, as well as the smoothness and lag problems, improves the system operation fluency by 20%, the system response time by 44%, and the three-party application operation fluency by 60%. From cracking down on HMS-compatible Android apps, to the official adoption of Huawei's core technology, the ARC compiler, in Android 13, Google's attitude has changed dramatically. This shows that Huawei's strength should not be underestimated. At the same time, it will be harder for users to make a choice. Hi. Welcome to TechTeller. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Okay, let's move on to today's topic. Recently, Android, iOS and Harmony OS have all released some news, so today, let's take a look at the advantages and disadvantages of the three systems, hoping to help you make a choice. We all know that since Google launched the Android operating system, it has quickly become popular and become the fixed operating system used by all mobile phones in the world except Apple. After more than a dozen versions, the Android system has become more and more perfect, and the devices covered are more and more extensive. Unconsciously, it has monopolized the world's mobile phones and other mobile devices, and its status is unshakable. But this also brings a consequence, which is monopoly. For so many years, in addition to Apple, which can compete with its own iOS system, Samsung, Microsoft, etc. have tried to develop their own systems to fight against it, but in the end they all failed. The impact of Android's monopoly is far-reaching, especially for China-made mobile phones. Although they are far ahead in global sales, they have no autonomous control over the system. This is actually a very dangerous thing. After several years of development, Harmony OS has more than 300 million users worldwide. Although it cannot be compared with the number of Android users, this data is already the third largest mobile phone system in the world. So, how should users make the best choice for Android 13, Harmony OS 3.0, and iOS 16? Let's first take a look at the Android system. As a highly open operating system, it has been updated to Android 13. Among the 12 brands that launched Android 13 for the first time, Chinese brands accounted for 9, which shows how popular it is in China. In the latest beta version, the official said that it has reached the platform stable state, which indicates that the new functions of the new version of the system have been basically locked, and the next step is to slowly polish the details and then optimize the user experience. The advantages of Android 13 have been revealed before, such as Bluetooth Low Energy Audio, a new file access permissions, users can decide which files in the album can be read by the application. 
and the details have also changed, such as the progress bar in the music notification bar, changing to a dynamic wave style, or strengthening the privacy function of the system itself, and optimizing for virtual memory management. In general, the bottom layer of the Android system in recent generations has indeed become more and more stable, and the fluency is also stronger. The second is the Harmony OS. Compared with the Harmony OS 2.0 version, the new version removes the bloated part in 2.0 and improves the interactive experience between devices. The Internet of Everything has always been the main direction of Harmony OS, and thanks to the addition of new algorithms, Harmony OS 3.0 is smoother than 2.0 in daily use, which means that Harmony OS 3.0 version will bring more intense competition value. In addition, it has been reported that distributed computing capabilities will be strengthened. For example, if the mobile phone application is transferred to the PC side, then the one responsible for computing will become the computer, and the game screen displayed on the monitor will be higher, so the experience will naturally be better. Besides, in the new version, the privacy function has been greatly improved. Since it is the internet era, security has been really impacted, and Harmony OS 3.0 can actively help users identify problems through features such as Wi-Fi security detection, virus detection, harassment interception, and the use of payment protection centers. At the same time, features such as access to the camera, microphone, location, files and multimedia, and contacts will be visualized in the privacy center as graphs, which are convenient for users to manage and troubleshoot various problems. It's just that the ecological aspect of Harmony OS has not really been solved, but it is expected in the future. Finally, let's take a look at the iOS system. At present, the first preview version of iOS 16 has been officially launched, and it does bring a lot of functions, such as a new lock screen method and lock screen wallpaper, SMS enhancements, live text enhancements, and information notifications. There are also some minor changes in areas such as the status bar. It is worth mentioning that some media found in the iOS 16 code that the iPhone 14 Pro series will be equipped with an off-screen display function. It seems that for users who want to change phones, the expectations will be very high. However, most of the added functions of iOS 16 are very similar to those of the Android system, which also means that the current system functions have basically entered a bottleneck period. Unless it is rebuilt like Harmony OS, it will be difficult to open up new routes. Moreover, iOS 16 is still in the testing stage, and many expected features have not been launched, such as dual screen mode, small window mode, and resource library switch options. It can be seen that even the iOS system is difficult to be perfect to satisfy all users. In general, the advantages and disadvantages of the above three operating systems are very obvious. The Android system has lost its characteristics, the ecology of the Harmony OS is still a problem, and the iOS system has changed less and less, and the freshness has gradually lost. So, what choice will you make? Please let us know in the comments section. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas. I am Tech Teller, the person to tell you the opinions that worth spreading every day. See you.